For Americans angry over immigration, and there are a lot of them, one candidate speaks clearer, louder than the rest. Mr. Donald Trump! We have to stop illegal immigration. We have to. We have to. They're killing us at the border, and they're killing us in trade. They're killing us. For many, the clarity of that message from a candidate known for his bluntness resonates. You know, we've got all these illegals coming in, no documentation. Despite pressure from the Republican Party to tone it down, Donald Trump hasn't backed down from these comments. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. Many analysts say that is likely to limit his candidacy and his party's efforts to attract Hispanics, the fastest growing segment of the American electorate, some of whom made their voices heard in Phoenix. I wonder if the Mexican government sent them over here. I think so. I think he's hurting them in the long run because the Republican Party needs to do the opposite. They need to get more Hispanic vote. I would not disregard his candidacy as something not serious. Trump has drawn so much attention that he had to move his event from the Biltmore Hotel, which holds about 1,000 people, here to the Phoenix Convention Center, which holds thousands more. Many came to hear his message on immigration. He's got brains, he's got class, he employs thousands of people. He can get us out of this hellhole that we are in. And I would actually love to see what he does for our economy. Trump isn't shy about criticizing his rivals. Hillary Clinton was the worst Secretary of State in the history of our country. And the poll just came out, and I'm tied with Jeb Bush. And I said, oh, that's too bad. How can I be tied with this guy? He's terrible. Or the many companies that have cut ties with him. And I just got cut from Macy's. And here's the bottom line on Macy's. Thousands and thousands of people are cutting up their Macy's credit card. I love it. But even his supporters say the businessman and reality no TV star. You're fired will have to tone down the rhetoric to be taken seriously as a presidential contender. Oh gosh, yeah, especially when we start getting into the heavy political season. These slip-ups that he had, um, his very, when he first announced, they can't happen or he won't win. For now though, Trump's blunt message resonates well beyond the packed convention hall in this immigration-weary state on the Mexican border. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Phoenix.